Ngayon yung magsasagot naman tayo kung paano gumawa ng complete confidence interval ng population proportion. So, in this particular problem, ang una natin gagawin is to identify or to define yung uh, population parameter. So, sunod naman yung conditions at yung uh, pangatlo yung pag-compute ng actual um, confidence interval at yung huli yung pagsulat at pag-interpret ng confidence inter interval. Now, dito sa ating problem na ito, identify muna natin yung ating population parameter or parameter of interest. And in this case, we want to estimate the population proportion na kung saan yung proportion will be U.S. adults questioned who felt that unemployment comp compensation should be extended an additional six months. So, to write this out, we start with, we want to estimate So, ito yung ating parameter of interest, yung true proportion ng ating um, in-estimate na confidence interval. Now, yung susunod naman natin yung uh, randomness ng sample, um, normality, at saka independence ng ating sample. So, in this case, alam natin na random yung sample kasi sinabi dito sa problem na galing siya sa randomly selected U.S. adults. Yung normality naman, gagamitin natin 10% rule or yung big N greater than or equal to 10 times the sample size or N. At yung normality, gagamitin natin yung NP greater than or equal to 10 at NQ greater than or equal to 10 wherein yung P, yung ating P hat. So, random siya kasi randomly selected yung ating sample. So, yung p hat natin would be 433 divided by 1,548. Now, using our calculator, 433 divided by... 1,548 is equal to 0 0.2797 or we can write that 0 0.28 at yung Q naman would be 1 minus P hat which is equal to 0 0.28 or 1 minus 0 0.28 which is 0 0.72 so, ito yung gagamitin natin para sa ating normality condition. So, lahat ng conditions natin ay nasatisfy. So, ibig sabihin nun, makukuha natin yung ating confidence interval ng, uh, um, ng walang caution kasi yung mga conditions natin eh. Na satisfy. So, let's start with the computation. So, isulat natin yung uh, test na gagamitin natin. So, ito yung gagamitin natin, one sample proportions Z interval, na kung saan kakailanganin natin si P hat, yung Q, N, this is confidence level. So, baguhin natin siya. So, kung 95% na siya, 1 minus 0.95 divided by 2, 0 0.025, 0 0.025. So, ang kukunin natin ngayon is 0 0.025, second function, vars, inverse normal, 0 0.025, 
1.96. So, ito yung ating critical value. So, pagkuha ng, Z, ng confidence interval, we'll be using p hat plus or minus z star times square root of pq all over n. So, plug in lang natin yung mga values. p hat is 0.28. 1.96 times square root ng 0 0.28 0 0.72 divided by 1000 so 0.28 plus or minus so nagamit na natin yung calculator dito at ang lalabas dyan is 0 0.0114 So, 0.28 Multiply natin yung dalawa para meron na tayong margin of error which is 0 0.022 At ang confidence interval natin kapag ginamit natin yung calculator will be 0.258 at 0 0.302 So, from here to here, ginamita lang natin siya ng calculator to find our confidence interval. So, since meron na tayong confidence interval, let's write it down to the context of the problem. At since na-identify na natin yung uh, parameter natin, mas madali na yung pagsulat ng ating confidence interval. So, since na-identify na natin yung uh, um, parameter of interest, pwede na natin isulat yung conclusion in general form. Pero kung babasahin natin talaga siya, with the repeated sample of 1,548, we are 95% confident with the true proportion of U.S. adult who feel that unemployment compensation should be expanded an additional six months will be captured in between 25.8% and 30.2%. At yan yung pag-construct ng ating confidence interval.